welcome. Today I want to share with you all my recipe for cheese puffs. And for this recipe, we're going to make it in two parts. We're going to make the pastry part first, and then we'll make the filling to fill the puffs. And for this recipe, I have here one cup of flour. Let me just go through the list of ingredients, and then I'll leave the correct measurements down below in the description box for you all. So I have flour, butter, four eggs, water, salt, some water to touch the pastry, the tip of it in case there's a tip because you don't want that to burn. And an egg wash which is one egg with some water. I have here my piping bag and my silicone mat on my baking tray. So we're going to start off by adding one cup of water to a pan, a saucepan, whatever you want to put it in. And I like using this non-stick frying pan. To me I think it's easier. To so the water in your pan add in your half a cup or eight tablespoons of unsalted butter and you're going to allow the butter to melt in here before we move on i'm just going to add a little bit of salt in here and if you're making this pat of choux pastry or choux pastry for eclairs or any dessert that's sweet, you would use sugar in this. But because I'm making a savory um a savory dish today, I'm just putting the salt. Once your butter has melted, go ahead and add in your one cup of flour and mix to incorporate. So once your dough comes together, I'll say just cook this for like about a minute or less. Okay, so this is good. Now, sometimes you can get a tin film at the bottom of your pan and you'll know your dough is ready. But with this pan that I use, I don't get that tin film. So... Once it comes together like this, I know that my dough is ready. So what you do now is you take this off your heat. So I am actually going to transfer my dough to my mixing bowl and let it cool. Because I'm going to use my KitchenAid mixer. You can use whatever mixer you have. Once your dough has cooled down, you're going to go ahead and add in your eggs one at a time. And let it mix and combine thoroughly so that flour must totally absorb that egg now if you don't have a stand mixer you can probably use a hand mixer or you can just use a spatula or a spoon and mix it into the flour okay so this is finished I'm just gonna check it And it has a nice soft consistency and that's what you want so I'm using a silicone mat and if you don't have one you can just use parchment paper and you put a little bit of oil at the bottom four corners and it will hold down your parchment paper for you so these you can make them how big or how small you want I like them medium sized so I'm gonna pipe mines out and you see that tip we're going to take the egg wash or you can take some water and touch the tip because you don't want that tip to remain up. It's going to burn if you do. So we'll do that when I'm finished piping out my pastry. So if I didn't mention before, my oven is preheating at 350 degrees. So now you're going to take your egg wash and you're going to put it, put it on your pastry dough and be careful. You just want to slightly touch down on that tip so that it wouldn't burn when you put it into the oven 
Okay, now this goes into my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Now to make the cheese filling for our puffs. And here I have one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. And I grate it in my butter because my butter was really hard. So I just have like a tablespoon of butter in here. I'm going to add some salt and some pepper, some food coloring, mayo, lime pepper sauce, and some Dijon mustard to this. The complete list of ingredients will be down below in the description box. So add your meal to your cheese, your lime pepper sauce. The lime pepper sauce you'll find on my channel. Mustard, food coloring, just a pinch of salt and some black pepper. Give this a mix. When you finish, mix your cheese filling. Set it aside until your puffs are ready. So my puffs just came out of the oven. They actually took 30 minutes exactly. And I just want to leave them to cool a little. I don't need to poke them or anything because they have small holes in them from puffing up. So they're good as it. So now that my puffs have cooled, I just want to take one and cut it open and show you guys what it's supposed to look like on the inside and you can see how hollow that is that's what you want when you make a puff okay so to make your cheese puffs here I have my cheese paste in my bag and what you need to do is just make a little cross at the bottom on X and you're going to take your cheese filling and you're going to pipe it into your puff and you just continue filling until you've filled out all of your puffs with your cheese filling so here you have it my cheese puff recipe I hope you guys enjoyed today's dish let me just open one and show you the inside you see how it has enough room in there to fill and to put your filling in that's what you want when you make the perfect puff it must puff up so that there's that space in there for you to fill it so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe make it and let me know down below if you like it Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!